friends welcome to ashok it my name is sheetal patil and today we are, we are going to discuss java 11 features so let's start first feature is compile free launch so what is compile free launch from java 11 it provides flexibility to flexibility to run java code without compilation right to to run a java file we first compile it with the help of Java C command. But with the Java 11, we can directly run a Java file by using single Java command, right? Before Java 11, if we execute a Java file, then first we need to compile that code and then we run the code. And this whole process, it requires two major steps, like compile Java code, then run Java code. But to compile Java code, which, which command we use? Java C, Java file dot Java command. And to run this file, we can use Java and uh, Java file. This these two commands we used in CMD, right? But if we if we are working with the Java 11, then we don't need to follow these two steps. Just use single command Java, then Java file name dot Java, and it will execute the file by producing the desired result. As this is Hello World program, this program, if you observe, it is executed with the help of only one command Java the file name dot Java. So this feature is applicable if we have a single file of source code. It means all the code is in a single file with the no external dependency. Second feature, Java 11, it added some new string methods. String are the most used data type in Java. Almost every application in Java make use of strings. That's why string are treated with special attention in Java. From time to time, new methods are added to the string class. So that working with the stream becomes effortless and simple. We'll see all methods. First is is blank. It checks if a string is empty or have white space only. You can use this method to check whether a given string is blank or not. And a string is said to be blank if it is empty or it contains white space. You can check this example. Is blank method, it will return true, right? It will check if string is empty or have white spaces only. Second method, lines. This lines method in the string class that returns a stream of lines extracted from a given string. It returns a sequential ordered string, which means the line will be written in the order they occurred in the string. And this line method, it works based on the new line character. New line character, how will you denote? Slash n. And carriage return, how will you denote? Slash r. It extracts the line based on the new line character or the combination of the carriage return that is followed by the new line character. It automatically removes any leading or trailing white space from each line before returning them. You can observe this example. In this example, with the help of lines method, it will display that lines. It will it is displaying two, three lines actually. This line is the first line slash n, then this line is the second line slash n, and after that one dot is there. Repeat method. This method is used to duplicate or repeat a string. Repeat a string given number of times. This repeat method, it accepts one argument that is int count. It accepts one integer type of argument. So it returns the concatenated string. This method, it returns the calling string repeated n times. In Java 11, the repeat method, as I told, it accepts one parameter that is integer count. And it, uh, this method is available in string class. Right? We are learning string class new methods in Java 11. It returns a string whose value concatenates with the original string repeated count times. Right? This method takes a simple argument of integer type. That is count which represents the number of times the string should be repeated. And the count parameter must be non-negative. If you are specifying, it will return illegal argument exception. In this example, whatever the count here, this hello string is entered, count is 5. So this uh, hello string, it will repeat 5 times, concatenated string. Script lead. It uses to remove all leading white spaces from a string. Leading white spaces. In this example, white spaces given before the hello word. So it will remove that and it will display that original string is hello word with the white space. And uh, stripped string is after removing that white space. Strip trailing. Strip trailing, it removes all trailing white spaces from a string. It's a part of that string class and it returns a new string with all the 
trailing white spaces removed be after right so here if you observe it will remove the trailing white spaces next varying lambda so local variable time inference for lambda expression is introduced in java 11 right this feature allows developer to declare and initialize local variables without explicitly stating their data types no need to specify data type in Java, the Lambda expression feature was introduced in Java 8, as we know, that allows developers to write functional style code. But we could not use var as the parameter type for Lambda expression before Java 11. But after Java 11, the compiler can identify the type of Lambda expression parameter based on its context. So now we can use var as the parameter type for Lambda expressions. Java 11 allows to use var in a Lambda expression and it can be used to apply modifiers to local variables. Java compiler infers the type of variable at compile time as it is where, as we know, it is introduced in Java 10, where can be used in loops. You cannot assign null or you cannot assign null to where or where is not a keyword, right? There are certain limitations that when you are using this where in Lambda expression, where parameters cannot be mixed with other parameters. And this where parameters can only be, it can be only used with parentheses. Java 11 collections to array. Java 11 introduces a new method in the collection interface that is to array method. And this method uses to convert a collection into an array. And this section, we can see converting how to convert a collections to an array with the help of <coughs> Java 11 feature. To array method has been a part of a collection interface from 1.2, but Java 11 provides a new method that allows for more control over the written array. So now the two array method is overloaded method and the method introduced in Java 11 text as a, an int function as an argument. And we specify the type of the return array. You can check this example. In this example, this we are converting collections to an array. Name list, if you observe, Name list is a list. We are trying to convert it into array. Java 11 file API features. Java 11 introduced some new methods in the file class, and this method provides better handling. What are these methods? Read string. It accepts two parameters, path, another is characteristic. And write string method is accept three parameters, path, character sequence, and open option. So read string, read string method, it is used for reading the text. Read string method it accepts two parameters, right? Path and cassette. And the read string method exists in the Java dot NIO dot file dot file class. It is a, this new feature is available in Java 11. And why it is used? It is used to read the content from a file into a string using specified char character set. If you observe here, with the help of this get method, we are accepting or uh, we are reading content from the text one dot text file. And this read method, with the help of this read string, we are passing this file path, and this is what character set. It is using UTF-8. Same with the, you can write to the file with the help of this new feature, with the help of write string method. Write string method, it accepts three parameters, right? And this method is used to write a string to a file using the specified character set and options. Right? When you want to write to a text file in your Java application, then we can, we can use this write string method to write a string to a file. Right? So what are the advantages of read string method over a buffer reader? It, it, is, it provides simplicity, it provides efficiency, it provides error handling. How? Simplicity. The read string method makes the code simpler and easier to read because we don't need to deal with buffer reader and loop. Why it provides efficiency? As we have seen above example, read string method read the enter file at once. And we don't need to take the overhead of repeatedly calling read line and concatenating strings, right? Error handling. The read string method provides support to handle error more cons consistently than the buffer reader approach. These are the advantages over the buffer reader approach. Java 11 not, not predicate. Java 11 introduced a new method that is called a not method, which provides an easy way to negate a predicate. It, it present in a predicate interface. A predicate interface is a functional interface that take an argument and return a Boolean value. And mostly it uses to filter collection or streams of a data 
and it's a default method and static method that returns a new predicate that is negation of the original predicate. Right. Java 11 optional class. Java 11 introduced in this new method optional class that is is empty in optional class. This uh, in Java 11 is empty method is introduced to check if value is present or not. Is empty returns false if value is present. Otherwise, it returns true. It can be used as an alternative for is present method, which is often need to negate to check if value is not present. You can check this example. Next, Java 11 feature, standard HTTP client. With Java 11, now HTTP client is a standard and it is recommended to use instead of other HTTP client API like Apache, Apache HTTP client API. It is a quite feature rich and now Java based application can make HTTP request without using any external dependencies. What are the steps then? Following other steps to use an HTTP client, create HTTP client instance, how you will create HTTP client dot new builder instance, then how to create HTTP request with the HTTP request dot new builder instance and make a request using HTTP client dot send and get a response object. You can check this example for this HTTP client standard. It returns status code, header and body, everything. Java 11, nest based access control. It supports, why this feature is introduced? It supports private access within nest members directly. Before Java 11, if you want to access this private members, it can be access with the help of auto generated bridge method, right? But with the Java 11, you can directly access them. It is support, this nest based access control, it support private access within nest members directly, no more than an auto generated bridge method. Furthermore, new nested API for validation and allowed private reflection access within the nest members. Before Java 11, if we compile any class, it will generate two classes. One is your uh, outer class and another is inner class. Even a nested class is a typical class with a unique name. And the JVN access rule will not allow private access within different classes. However, Java allowed private access within nest members. So the Java compiler creates a bridge method to apply on the JVM, JVM access rule. But in Java 11, the Java compiler will not generate any bridge method to access the private access within the nest members. This new JVM access rule, nest based access control allowed private access within nest members. In this, it provides new class API, new nest host, nest members, nest mates. And the get nest host method is used to get the name of the nest host. The nest meta of method is used to check whether a class is the nest mate or not. Is get get nest members method returns an array of nest members, including classes and interfaces. Here you can check, it will return whether the given classes, how inner class is accessing private member of outer class, and it will return nest host, nest mates, nest members. Okay. So uh, we have